Leo, this is all about you. Leo, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. Welcome to the channel if you've just found us. Let's look at a week ahead. <clears throat> this is seven days out, guys, from whenever you see this video. Sun, moon, rising, Leo. Life is speeding up, Leo. Thank God, as if we were in the doldrums and now we're finally coming out of it. Coming back into yourself, coming back into your power. Like I said, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Here we go. Let's see what your crowning energies are. Leo, crowning energies. Start off the reading. Life is speeding up. Speeding up. And it could, they, they were like, they were, I think things are shifting back up into the upright position. You feeling good about yourself. You taking charge again. You feeling confident. You feeling optimistic. You know, it could not even, it may not have even been something that was bad that was happening to you. It's just that optimism has returned. And I think there's also this energy and this momentum, this forward push. This is also seeing your way forward and finally being able to realize the path. You have direction now. You have an aim. You have hope that you're going to make it. It's not just hope, though. You have confidence. You have confidence. And, and the cards started out like this and sort of like it was, it was like they were rotating upward. So I feel like the next seven days is almost like the crowning energy is that upward momentum, is that moving and shifting back into your right position, your upright position, feeling good about yourself, feeling happy with your life. Um, things that you had been looking for are taking off. Right now, I would say the crowning energy is just simply, seven plus three is 10, 10 and two. So there's an ending of something. There's a completion. I think what's really being completed, Leo, is the sense that um, of, of you being compromised somehow, the sense of your, conf your confidence in yourself being compromised. That's closing up, that's finished. You're sort of putting, putting that to rest. It's also you're putting to rest any sense of, I think, being maybe having any kind of imbalance in the way that you feel about yourself, whether that been you being arrogant or egotistical or turning that around and you being depressed or feeling behind somehow or having lost confidence in yourself. There's a sense of balance that's restored so that you can move forward with speed and agility. Um, yeah, this is absolutely having direction in your life. Oh, it's pretty blatant, nothing more to say. Just gonna keep going on with the reading. If you guys are on a platform that allows for commercials, I'm gonna squeeze one in right here. Um, and I'll be right back in about 30 seconds. Okay, Leo, thank you so much. That commercial actually is sponsorship for the channel. So it's almost like you're donating to the channel just by being patient through the commercial. And I appreciate it. Two more cards popped out. Let's see what this energy is. Oh, wow. Let it shine. Leo, this is... This is not necessarily, this is you stepping into the spotlight because you finally having the confidence to do it. And it sounds crazy because it's like, don't Leos always have the confidence to do it? This card is my Leo card. It could be either a Leo card or a Scorpio card. But this is definitely, this and this especially is Leo. So that tells me that you have come back into a sense of your own esteem, your own self-confidence. You are sharing your gifts with the world. You are expressing outwardly what you feel, what you think, what your beliefs are. It has to do with the throat chakra, you opening up and speaking your truth, <clears throat> aligning. <clears throat> I apologize. I have laryngitis and I apologize. Um, it's you aligning with your truth, being able to know what to say now. Maybe I feel like there could have been, because of the way that originally the two cards in the beginning had come out, there was something that was making you feel squashed or denied. Um, there was a sense of you having lost your sense of people are listening or relevancy, like you felt like you lost your relevancy. I think that you've moved past even caring I think you've gotten back to the point of just understanding that this is important to you and that's why you share it. It's almost like you've gotten back to the true sense of why you started sharing or doing this work or believing these things. Um, are you Why this momentum started in the beginning. It's like you're coming back to realize it's just because this is who I am. This is my truth. 
And it's almost like after that scorpionic energy that we just pulled out of, now you've fully resurrected. You've gone through your underground world. You've gone through your very emotional time. You've gone through that period of uncertainty and maybe even fear. And you've come out the other side, not necessarily glorified, but stronger and confident in yourself and your own relevancy. This is magic works through you. So um, this is also telling me that, Leo, whatever it is that you have to share, it's wanted, it's necessary, and it's needed. This may be, you know, bringing somebody else back to life, helping somebody find their way through the dark because you found yours. This is going back and sharing your life experiences and because it's a message that you need to hear. This is true leadership. I think that's what I'm saying. Um, that this is something that will actually revolutionize um, other people's lives too. It's something that they need to hear or something that they want to hear. Or definitely you, it could even be you you putting on a show and you coming out and making a, not a huge demonstration, but literally putting on a show and headlining something or stepping out into the spotlight um, and really just sort of mystifying people and, and almost casting a spell over them. Not literally, but this feeling of casting a spell or having people just in awe of you and, 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 and fix, not fixated, um, transfixed by whatever it is, um, by whatever it is you're doing or you're unveiling. So this could very well be something that you have created. You finally being ready to unveil or release or share with other people. But this is also, I feel like this healing energy, there's a huge sense of healing not only in you, but in what you can do for others and what your message can share with others. This comes from, what is it again? Guys, once again, this is another 10 card. This is another completion. This is almost like the 10 of wands, putting down all those burdens, letting it go with that fire energy of just, of, of letting it go, of being at the end of the end of the, the, the last leg of the race. And it's, it's over the hardship, the burdens are over. You're, you're releasing it you're letting it you're letting it go and this is almost like um the 10 of 10 of 10 of uh I don't say 10 of cups hold on I don't want to say 10 of cups I guess I guess it is you no know, because it has to do with communication and the voice but that wouldn't be 10 of swords it's 10 it's completion it's finished it's like it's like, yeah, maybe it would be more Ten of Cups energy. It's just sort of sharing your happiness with the world, sharing your wisdom with the world. Maybe not even that. It's just there's a completion here. There's a fulfillment. So this Ten is a Ten of Fulfillment. So I guess that is more Ten of Cups, right? Because it's fulfillment. It's you actually coming into yourself and feeling whole and feeling emotionally strong and realizing that you already have abundance, that you're not, you don't have to wait for it. It's already yours, that you have the happy ending. It's here, it's right now, and you're realizing it. And I think that that's what's really fueling your confidence, this assuredness, this, com this, this um, completion of sorts. And that's why you're, you can so certainly share what you've experienced because whatever it is, your, your burdens are over, your hardships are over. Everything has finally, it makes sense again. It's like everything has come back into... Um, uh, um, being clear, come back into focus. And then we have, you are never alone. And this is my true love card. So this could be somebody from your, not necessarily from your past. This could be a sense of love or a sense of confidence or a sense of acceptance coming back into your life. This is a sense of maybe you being reunited with somebody from a long time ago, or not even just from a long time ago, a sense of you finally falling in love, being able to fall in love, having the capacity for this is eight. So this is eternity. No, 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 this is six. This is six, like in the tarot card deck, the lovers is a six. So um, this is definitely hard to ignore. This is romance, romance, but also this is big love too. So it could very well be just you sharing with the world how other people can love each other more. This is six too though. No, 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 this is seven. This is magic, yeah. I can't add tonight, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I apologize for that. But still, um, 
I do have a sense that this is less romance and more big love, more coming home, coming to the people, being surrounded by people who really support you and care about you. More pointedly though, more poignantly, it's you feeling whole again. It's like both pieces of your heart have now been glued back together. There's nothing separating it or ripping you apart anymore. You're completely and totally healed. This is like my heart health card too, right? This is you're finally healthy again. If there has been bouts with sickness or illness, this indicates that you have been cured. There's been a release from your sickness. There's been clarity that's been cast on your condition so that you can move forward. It's finding out that somebody is going to get better or be released from a hospital. It's finding out that um, there's a cure for what you have or getting help for it and seeing the help, like make breakthroughs, seeing the way forward. Um, this is definitely a renewal and a return to a healthier way to be and feel coming back into. And I almost feel somebody like wrapping their self around you and just hugging you and holding you close to them. So it's also a sense of, like I said, homecoming and returning to that place where there is sincerity and truth. And maybe that's why you feel so secure in speaking your truth now because you're surrounded by people who actually are protecting you and care about you. It's like you have your pride, you've gotten your pride back together again and your pride is well intact. Use your mind wisely. So this is a time moving forward when you're going to want to um, you're going to want to not watch your steps, but, um, um, be, well, use your wisdom. Essentially, this isn't a chance. This isn't a time when you can, when you even have to leap. This is a time when you can apply all that you've learned to progress and to pro uh, forward motion. But it's also a sense of, um, when pigs fly, <laughs> like I, this seemed impossible. You thought it would never happen. You thought the day would never come. This could be a long overdue, um, falling in love, meeting somebody that you can actually be in love with after a long bout of being single or feeling like you would probably be single for a long time. This is a very loving energy and a loving time. Something has moved forward and made progress that you thought was, was impossible. And I think maybe you just laid off, you, you held back a little bit. You, yeah, you took the pressure off yourself. You took the pressure off the situation. You let go of the reins just a little bit and they drove you right in the direction that you wanted to go. And so this is kind of maybe, it was driven by your strategy, using your mind wisely in that this was, but I don't feel like that. It's not about, it's not about that. It's about having clarity of purpose and clarity of thought, which is what we got in the beginning of the reading. Um, it's about looking, looking at things fairly, almost this sort of release in any kind of anger or hurt that you had been experiencing from any situation. It's just a, a release of that energy of you being able to really just let go. Um, but there's two more cards that have popped out. Give with gratitude and grace, but it's upside down. So this is more you keeping to yourself or not trusting people. Let spirit be your guide. This is also, um, oh, this is really interesting. It's just kind of everything has just flipped around. When be, right after I said, use your mind wisely. So you could be teetering this week, Leo, on being too tempted to go overboard with specific situations because you're so overjoyed and so happy. Don't let it, don't allow it. Don't get cocky is what I'm saying. Don't allow it to make you feel arrogant or overconfident because it seems like you will get this energy, this rush of feeling like I can do anything. And in that, this rush of sort of almost sucking out the air all around you and bringing, making it sort of all about you. Um, taking, receiving also, wait, this is a more benevolent uh, understanding of, of the cards. You thought something that you would never come to you was coming to you. You're actually receiving. Instead of giving, 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 you're actually able to receive this week. So I kind of like that interpretation a little bit better. And I feel like it's more accurate for probably at least 85% of you. So let's go with that. Let spirit be your guide. This is, um, this is still, um, not the spirit is not with you. I always say that when this card is in reverse, but almost like looking at things from a different point of view is how you reconnected with spirit 
Interesting. And maybe that's the thing is that you are now receiving instead of giving. And that's what you're looking at from a different perspective. And that's why how you're using your mind wisely is that I don't have to always be giving. I don't have to always be the one with this forward progress and forward momentum. It doesn't always have to be coming from me. In fact, it shouldn't always be coming from me. I should be allowed to receive. And that's what you're doing. This and that are true. You're seeing things from somebody else's perspective. This is you coming back around and talking to somebody who may have broken your heart in the past, but you're finally being able to, to heal that relationship with them. Not necessarily, I don't think, get back together with them. And that could be the warning and use your mind wisely in that this is just, this is not a reconciliation. This is, um, um, this is just a um, resolution right? It's, it's giving you resolution in order to move on. So yes, now I see your side of the story. I can understand your perspective. Um, and I receive the, Oh, this is an apology coming in. That's what this is. You're getting an apology from somebody, somebody, some institution, whatever it is, you're receiving an apology for them not acknowledging you or them taking back bad things that they said about you or something that, that happened that, harmed you or hurt you and set you back you are receiving an apology for and you're you're receiving it with gratitude and you're receiving it with grace and you're trying to understand their side of the story and the reason why you can now is because you're in such a good place in terms of your confidence in terms of your sense of self you don't have to hate and and not hating in is 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 helping you release that energy release the past it's helping you liberate yourself is what it's doing this this forgiveness and sort of seeing from their perspective and, and being able to be like more playful in the situation and look toward the future is because you have settled on and now are accepting this whole mentality of, oh, I get it. I, I understand now where they were coming from. I still don't agree with them, but it's helping me to let go by not feeling this heavy, this heavy heart, this heavy part of me. And so just by, you know, it's not like you're faking, you're, you're nodding and just pretending to agree. It's that you're, you're, you're really seeing things from their side of, of, you're really listening with your open heart. You're opening your heart and listening to their side of the story. This isn't a reconciliation. This is a resolution. I'm going to say that one more time. This is not a reconciliation. This is a resolution. You have talked to somebody and finally resolved an issue, maybe a case, could be a court case, that's finally pushing forward and moving forward and closing up. This is a, this is a done deal. You're finally able to move on from this. And I think it's because you have found a compromise. You found a way to make both sides happy, to make both sides feel validated, and you're moving on. Let me quick turn the camera around. Hold on. Here you go, Leo, your whole spread. And this was the card that I think really pulled it all together. This is kind of an ambivalent card. I don't really love this card, though I do love dolphins. But it's also, it's perfect for this reading because it's, what's, it's what it's saying to me is you found a way to compromise. You found a way to make a resolution and make your heart happy by doing the impossible, which was they're accepting. It's almost like you're accepting their apology. They have finally come around. You never thought they'd come around, but they did. They came around. Maybe they saw things from your perspective and was, was, was able to now offer you a resolution. This could be somebody that you never thought something happening, coming around and actually finally uh, giving, giving to you, giving to you an apology, giving to you an explanation, giving to you some sort of clarity, offering you some sort of compensation for something that has not been, um, that had been a long time outstanding. So this is definitely this energy of you being on the receiving end of somebody's understanding or apology and you reciprocating just because you want the issue resolved. You're finally able to move forward in confidence. I do feel like, look at all this magic. People are listening to you. Uh, they have an open heart with you. And I think that this whole, this whole topic is going to help you understand people at a deeper, deeper level. It's going to help you, uh, there's understanding running through the whole, I think running through this whole theme. It's just what you've learned and what you're going to be able to share through this experience is going to work magic to heal the hearts of others. 
So let's go over to um, Vimeo. I'm gonna full, pull a full tarot spread to get a little bit more detail on um, maybe what was coming from the other side and also do your romance reading. Leo, I will see you over there. The link is in the description box below.